Hello everyone, Matt here, and welcome to a brand new type of video. This video is going to be talking about Lightstream, a program that allows you to stream from your Xbox using overlays, alerts, and all kinds of other amazing third-party applications, as well as first-party applications, that allow you to stream to Twitch using all of that without the necessity of a computer or especially a capture card. I'm not going to keep you hanging, I'm just going to get right into the point, so what you want to do first is go to Lightstream.com. So just go in the link, type in golightstream.com, or click the top link in the description for a little bit faster time. And then all you want to do is go over to Get Started. And I want to add that there is a Cyber Monday 50% off accounts for three months or even a year. Uh, you might want to take advantage of that while it's live. It ends tonight at midnight. So you're going to want to click Select Plan. Um, as you can see, I'm logged in already. You have the 720p at 30fps for $8 a month. And this allows you to do the cloud streaming. All of what I'm going to show you here is allowing you to do the cloud streaming without the computer or capture card. Then there's $12 a month for 720 at 60 FPS and 1080p 30 FPS for $16 a month. Then you can switch to annual. $7 a month saves you a dollar, but you have to pay $88 up front. $132 saves you a dollar as well per month. And then obviously a 1080 30, 172 saves you $2 a month. And now I'm going through the payment process of getting the 720p at 60fps for $12 a month, and I'm using the Cyber Monday code for 50% off for three months. Um, I want to add in, I suggest getting the 720 at 60 I think bumping up to 1080 isn't really necessary, especially if you're only getting 30fps. Um, I think the 60fps is, is worth it. Um, at slightly worse quality. And you got to remember a lot of people watching on Twitch are using mobile data. So running 1080p constantly is not really a thing that most people can do. So I suggest the 720 at 60. But carrying on, obviously your screen will look somewhat like this. Uh, obviously you can see that I have my stream already there. I've already done this all this whole thing before. I've done the song and dance, but I'm going to make a new project just for the sake of showing you guys what to do and how to do some of the features. Um, I'm not going to go over all of the third-party features because there's a lot of them. Um, but obviously, if you've done the third, if you know what the third-party systems are, then you'll know how they implement. Once I show you the three that I use, so I'm clicking 720p 60fps. I'm clicking instant streaming. So the second I go live, it'll automatically start with my stream. Um, that's kind of a crucial thing. I suggest doing that because obviously you want to have your overlays the second you stream. I just click the text layer. Uh, as you can see, and it's just text. You can change the font, you can change the color, you can change the um, font size, you can change how much text you want, uh, layering, that's the simple stuff with the font. If you want to make a simple, very simple overlay, you could do it using this. Um, I don't personally use it. I use a third-party system, which you will see soon, um, but it can do good. I think actually I kind of like the starting screen that I'm making right now, um, I, it ended up looking actually kind of decent in a way. It was really odd that it ended up looking good, but I mean, I just kind of was into it. <laughs> but obviously just making text on your screen is not the only thing. You can add in images. Uh, images is a little bit more interesting. Uh, you can add in overlay images, uh, stock images, whatever you want to add in. Uh, you can see a few of mine in the background there. So now I'm going in, adding a picture. I see a plant. We're just going to add in a plant. I had to use that for, a. Uh, a biology assignment so just bear with me i don't have any cool pictures to add in but you can add in pngs pngs work just like they normally would which is really dope sometimes programs can use pngs and it'll still show the like um background that they have with the squares lightstream made sure that that wasn't an issue which is really awesome because like i said some programs don't like acknowledge the fact that it's a png it's super weird thank god lightstream does because it would cause all kinds of issues um, there's also slideshows, which I didn't mess with slideshows. I clicked a few settings while recording this, but I didn't really do anything with slideshows just because I don't really have anything to do with slideshows. I just clicked some random images and I mean, a slideshow does what it, you would think it would do. It just fades in and out of pictures. If you want to showcase pictures while streaming or something, that is something you can definitely do. Um, you could be very creative with it, honestly. I just am not, so I gave up pretty quickly. And that's the same thing with uploading videos. I didn't have any videos to upload, so I just kind of gave up on this one. But you get the point. If you have a video you want to have on your screen, it'll work just like you would think it would. It will play automatically once you're live. And uh, so if you have like a cool streaming intro, you can have that play there. Um, I believe it will loop as well. Um, some of these things are just things you're going to want to look into.
And then of course, if you have a computer near you while streaming, you can use the camera option and the microphone option, two things that are actually really awesome actually, and I use them myself when streaming. So it's really, really awesome that you could do that because obviously with Xbox, you can't use a proper microphone. It sucks. And as you just saw me click, the game source is a, like, you need that. <laughs> you can't stream from Twitch uh, using the games without the game source because you need the game source. So this whole screen that I am bending up this where it says game source offline, where I'm shrinking it and everything, that is what's going to be your gameplay from Twitch. What you would have normally streamed on Twitch without an overlay, that is what that will be. So it'll be a live stream. You can make it small if you want to have a little overlay, like a intermission. You can shrink it into like a little box in an intermission. Totally awesome. You could totally do that. Um, it's really awesome what you could do with the uh, game source. And now we have arrived at the point where Lightstream sets itself apart from the competition. Third-party integrations. Botsimo, Extra Life, Lutz, Muxy, Pixel Chat, Player.me, uh, Stream ele uh, Elements, SGL, StreamJar, Streamlabs, Tippy Stream, Tr Tracker Network. The whole lot, everything you're seeing there, you can use um, their cloud-based systems, uh, whatever it may be on that third-party integration, and you can allow yourself to have those alerts or, or features on your stream. To set up player.me, you're going to want to go to player.me, and once again, this is one of the things that I use personally. I'm just showing it very simply. If you want a more in-depth um, video on how to use player.me with Lightstream, I can definitely make that happen, but I'm just kind of showing you guys the, the fast version of it. You're going to go to overlays, Make yourself an overlay that you like. Find a theme. I'm scrolling through, just kind of giving you a little glimpse at everything. But these are the themes. Um, and I just decided to click this random Dragon Blade one. And it looks quite nice. Click Add and Launch Editor. Click Twitch. And now it's going to load it up and then kick me into the editor. And in here, you can change where you want your webcam. You can move your alerts to whatever location. Test alerts. Remove things entirely. Expand them. Make them bigger. Customize it however you like add images as well. I always get rid of the alerts because I prefer Streamlabs alerts, um, and that's foreshadowing what my next uh, preferred third-party integration will be. And once you're done with it, back out, click copy to clipboard, go into player.me overlay in the third-party integration, paste that bad boy in, and it will be loaded in. And you could do whatever you want with your other elements and, and layers and stuff like that. Make it look as good as you want it to be. And whenever you start streaming, it will load up and it will look however you set it up to be, and it's really awesome. And once again, we're going to quickly go through Streamlabs um, because it's also another third-party integration that I quite like. And once again, I'm going to say the same thing. This is not a tutorial on Streamlabs or Player.me or Pixel Chat, I believe, is the third one I decided to use. It's just a quick rundown on how you go about getting it. Um, and as long as you can keep up, you can see exactly how to do it. If you guys want to see a video of more in-depth of anything else, I can definitely do that, take my time on it. Um, the reason this video is super rushed is because um, their Cyber Monday deal ends at midnight tonight, and I want to make sure that anybody who's thinking about this or anybody who's needing this can see this video and get out there and go and get it, because 50% off is really helpful. I mean, 50% off is, is something that's just nice to have, you know? You can get those three months of 720 at 60 FPS for only $18 uh, for entire three months. That's pretty dope. I'm just going to be honest with you on that one. So obviously you're going to go to Streamlabs as you probably saw as I was talking over everything and not paying attention. You're going to want to go to Streamlabs, go to your alert box, click the copy widget link as you saw in the video. Uh, thank God the video is there because I'm just talking about Lightstream the whole time, but at least you can see. Um, at least the visual is there for anybody who wants to see and you're going to go copy it. Obviously you can see that it's working. The reason you're seeing two of them is because I was um, recording my screen using Streamlabs OBS. So, I mean, it's just showing both of them because I keep testing it. Uh, but trust me, that one's not just sitting there in the middle of the screen. It is indeed working how it should be. Uh, and it's really awesome. I really like that one. Pixel Chat is also something that's really awesome as well. Uh, I don't really use it that much, but I think I want to in the near future. And obviously to set that up, you go to Pixel Chat. Um, I didn't know the link, so I typed it out uh, in the Google and then logged in. I just said in the Google, what? And then sign up with Twitch. I usually link it with Twitch because it's just a lot easier. It sets up everything um, as fast as you could ever hope for. Um, and I usually like the Pixel Shout overlay. Um, that's my favorite one, at least. It's very simple. You just type in exclamation mark SO space and then whoever you want it to be. And then it'll show their icon, what they're streaming and all that good stuff. I actually quite prefer that one. Uh, as you can see, it'll look somewhat like that. 
and obviously you can shrink it up and it kind of changes how it's formed, which is really awesome that pixel chat works like that, or maybe it might even be on light streams then. I don't know, but I like how it just condenses it. Like it knows what to do. Um, it's not actually just shrinking the image. It's shrinking how the image is set up. Uh, I really like that. It's very smart and ingenious, I guess, in a way. And like I keep saying, if you guys want an in-depth video on any of this, I can take my time and, and make one of those videos for you guys. But um, for now, we're just quickly going over everything. Now that you have Lightstream set up and you have your overlays, how you like them, um, you're going to want to go to the Twitch application by going in My Games and Apps and then going down to Twitch. And once that manages to load in, you're going to want to go to the top, click Broadcast. And once you open that up, you're not going to get that <laughs> error code. It's just because that's how I was recording my... my um, screen for xbox but what you're going to do is change your title uh one of the things that i do all the time is i test my broadcast 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 quality every time just so then it automatically sets my bit rate and obviously since i purchased the 720p at 60 fps uh streaming option i usually change my streaming resolution down to 720p um i don't recommend just using the same settings i do just because i don't know how bit rate works to be entirely honest with you uh, that bitrate could be entirely wrong for 720p, and I don't know. But you're going to want the most important part, the only important part that I need to make sure I, I can stress is you want to go to the very top where it says destination beta, and you're going to want to switch that from Twitch to Lightstream. You have to do that. If you don't, the live stream, the, the, the good good, the stuff that you want is not going to work at all. So you have to do that. That is a must. So just make sure that if you have Lightstream, you make sure that you have that set up in there, and um, you're good to stream. So guys, I hope that this video was any amount of help for you guys. I, I truly, truly hope so. Um, and also, head over to Lightstream right now. Get that 50% off. Boy, you need to get it. 50% off. That means 720p at 60fps, what I suggest personally. And you can get that for $18 for an entire three months. Like, not $18 a month. $18 for three months. That's nutty. You can stream all the way into February with that. Almost March, right? Is that three months? genius uh december january february into february you can stream into february that's dope that's awesome so make sure you go check it out top link in the description the code that um you get the 50 percent off with i'm also going to have on the top link in the description so you can make sure that you don't miss it at all from my understanding this deal ends tonight at midnight if it changes the time when it ends i will change the description but i believe it is tonight at midnight so make sure you get in there you have about six hours left go and get it secure the bag and i'll see you guys on twitch and in the next video. Peace.